And so here, in the context of this very bold infrastructure initiative in Hong Kong, a uh, very large site, incredible uh, investment, uh, many, many cultural uh, venues. But the core of the thing which fascinated me far, far more beyond the potential for the individual freestanding emblematic buildings was the actual urban quarter, the way in which you would grow the, the city of Hong Kong. And in that spirit of dissolving the architecture and the infrastructure, then where would where would that lead you? What, how would you analyze the essence of a city like Hong Kong? How could you recreate its DNA? And um, it was very much derived from a study of creating a main boulevard, main axis. It was what you saw on red on the previous diagram. Influence here of Nathan Road. And then analyzing Nathan Road in terms of its signage, the retail face, um, the, um, the fields of cars, of people, and analyzing those in terms of quantum and percentage, and then working with those, um, not in the abstract, but without the buildings, seeing to what extent one could conjecture spines of activity served in the case, the, the one on the right is about cars and the movement of the people in yellow flowing upwards into the pedestrian uh, domain above. And, and again, another visualization. Here the colors are absolutely con constant. The purple is the retail frontage, the red are the signs, the yellow is the people. The buildings are not there, remembering that the traffic is segregated at the lower level. So some of these studies about how you add to a city, how you create a new city, and how you might retrofit uh, a, a, an existing city to make it uh, to make it perform better. And here, looking at the layering of the city, the activities which take place one above the other, as well as the physical proportions. And then through that process, that leads to the creation, in this case, of the main artery, the avenue. But the dynamic of Hong Kong is also about the very narrow pedestrian street. It's very, very intense with, with, with a multiplicity of, of, of activities. And again, we took this particular street as one reference point, and, um, and here's Narinda's drawing, uh, exploring what makes it tick behind the facades. Again, uh, the layering, as well as the, uh, the density of those different fields. And that informing here the final proposition uh, for, that, uh, for that infrastructure. And the various stages in which you could reduce the carbon footprint and the creation of a great city park in a very, very dense uh, city, which uses the species which you would find in nature. And again, in this instance, the 5,000 trees are doing their little part in that energy equation by eating up something like 1,350 tons of carbon per annum. And again, very much about the infrastructure. The infrastructure arguably being more important than the individual buildings which it glues together because that is really about the quality of life in a city, the way that we move around it, the way that we experience those hard and soft spaces and the movement from one to the other.